and um, I've been doing the, well, first of all, I'll say writing a book is a daunting process. And if you're thinking about writing a book, I would tell you not to. It's a lot more work than you think it is. But <laughs> I'm glad I wrote it and it's done and it's over. And now I'm doing the audio book, which is, you don't realize it, but it's a performance. Like you're actually performing. The original plan is that I would have to go to a studio somewhere here in Austin or when I was on the road in LA and I was like, nah. I'm just way more comfortable recording in my own studio. Like I just, you know, I feel really at ease. I look over in the booth, I see you guys who I'm super comfortable and familiar with and um, yeah, it just feels like at home. So I, I, think it's, I think it's a much better audio recording because of that, as opposed to being in some space I've never been to with engineers I don't know. I think it's, a, it's been a lot better to be this way. Yeah, this is not a memoir. It's not an autobiography. This is a collection of stories and essays. And it basically, it's an extension of what I do as a comedian, which is I tell stories a lot. So, you know, there was, there was, there was that voice where I was like, oh, I, I wanted to do that too. I, I've seen comedians with books for years and I always wondered if it would be, you know, something that I would do. It's, it's things from everywhere, like childhood stories, um, stories about the podcast, stories about being a touring comedian, the one about my father, the one about my mother, um, people that I've met, celebrities, like it's kind of a mix of everything that that um, I thought was either interesting or funny to write about. And I think it turned out you know, pretty well. I think the audiobook will be a lot of fun for podcasts and stand-up fans to listen to. They told me that there was a couple things in the book that we shouldn't keep in the book. And I was like, why? And they said, you're definitely going to get flagged for this from like the book world as being like, you know, highly offensive. And uh, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I live in this world, not in the book world. So let them. I don't know if it'll happen, but they seem to think that there's stuff in the book that will, uh, upset people. I don't know. I mean. Yeah.